ladies and gentlemen, please extend a very warm welcome this afternoon to Padma Bhushan Shri Deepak Parekh. Thank you. Thank you for the kind introduction. Uh, Dr. Sunil Sharma, Dean Professor Rajiv Sinha, Mohan Gopalakrishna, and the family behind this institute, the Ars family, particularly Shalini Ars. Trustees of the foundation and members of the governing board, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a pleasure to be here today at the campus inauguration of the Myra School of Business. I know the campus is not all ready yet, but this is the first step to ensure that the classes begin in the next semester, which is June 2013. I'd like to congratulate the Mysore Royal family for their endeavors to support the Mysore Royal Academy. The Royal family of Mysore has historically been philanthropic and has continually promoted and nurtured art, architecture, and literature. With their grants and forward-thinking approach, the family has been affiliated with a number of academic institutions. The founders of Myra, Professor Shalini Arz and Sri J. De Arz, are successfully carrying on this rich tradition. The founders have established Myra School of Business by teaming up with reputed academicians and industry stalwarts in India as well as around the world. You've seen the professors sitting here, and they've all, I've been talking to them, and they've all been committed that they will come to the campus, they will come on a regular basis, and they will take classes on a regular basis, which gives me hope that this, will, this university, this campus, this college will really take off. These are very positive steps to ensure that the institute becomes a leading business and management school. In a dynamic global environment, business schools need to focus on all-round development and must train students so that they are able to meet the requirements of the industry. Today, unfortunately, it is estimated that only 21% of the MBA graduates in India are directly, immediately employable. The majority of the students need reskilling and training to increase their competency. It is refreshing, therefore, to see that Myra School of Business has chosen the right path by emphasizing on research-based problem solving, studying emerging markets, focusing on the triple bottom line, and more importantly, developing entrepreneur skills. One must not forget that one of the reasons for the rapid rise of the Indian economy since 1991 has been the important role played by entrepreneurs. During the past 20 years, we have witnessed a huge surge of entrepreneurship in India. While many started enterprises from scratch, there were many others who demonstrated extraordinary entrepreneurship qualities to turn around their respective organizations. So it is encouraging to know that Myra Business School is setting up alliances with companies that will enable students to get a fair idea of what the expectations of the industry are the mentoring program, corporate consultancy, centers of excellence, creating platforms to interact with policymakers, corporates and other academic institutions, and the CXO speaker series. Hosting speakers of national and international repute are all very positive initiatives. These programs will help the students in gaining experience and ensuring that there is no mismatch between qualification their qualification and what qualifications the industry needs. Further, these steps will provide students a better understanding of the diverse market, markets and business cultures. A point I would like to highlight is the importance of ethics, especially considering the lessons of the global financial crisis. This crisis was a noteworthy example of the pitfalls of greed and has proved to all of us the age-old maxim of integrity, honesty, and transparency will stand the test of time. I am hopeful that Myra School of Business will incorporate ethics as part of their curriculum. I would once again like to congratulate everyone here today 
on the campus inauguration and wish Myra School of Business all the very best in its endeavors to become a premier and a globally benchmarked institution in a period of a short time. I'm confident that the Myra School of Business is creating a platform to develop future business leaders of India. Thank you once again for inviting me today. And I would just like to make one apology that I may have to leave a little early as the infrastructure in Mysore is still not developed and the airport in Mysore closes very shortly. Otherwise, I'll have to have a go and stay in Shalini's house. Thank you for the patience hearing and please excuse me for leaving a little early. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Sri Deepak Parikh.